Hello fellow zookeepers, welcome back to Kayaboots Bay Zoo. This is our franchise zoo somewhere in America. Don't ask me where because I don't know that, but it's somewhere out there, maybe. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, my name is Soraya, uh, today I'll be your host in this video. And if this is your first time, don't be shy and to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it also a thumbs up. Both of these actions will help me out a lot. And I would really appreciate it. So, today we are working, as you can see, in the screen we are working on a habitat and this habitat is going to be for the probably you have seen it in the title of this video for the American bison and I have to say I quite like this little habitat and yeah it's not very lush or something but it is pretty big and I think in the end it looks pretty well and I hope you agree with me and after this bison habitat we are going to do some detailing around the grassland area and after that we are going to move on to the next biome in the zoo but which biome? I'm gonna leave that for later in this video. So if you wanna know uh, what area we are going to work on next, keep on watching and you will find out. And I'll probably also going to mention some animals that will be in that area. So a lot of things to look out for. Also later in this video, I am thinking about organizing something but like the new biome you have to keep on watching this video to find out what that thing is at the moment we are making one of the shelters of bisons i know there are some great creators out there for planet zoo who are awesome in creating indoor areas for animals and i thought i'm going to try something as well because i want to get better at it as well so yeah here is um, an attempt of mine i'm creating here a little window that they the keepers can open and close whenever they want and they can feed the bisons and get a closer look at them through this window and i was really struggling with what can i put in here to make it look like the window can stay open and i thought about uh, these things that you can see here um yeah they can basically turn them around and that way they can keep it open and the lower ones are to keep it closed so yeah, I think I was quite happy with that. And also what I tried with this building is trying to make it a little bit worn out. Like what I'm doing here with all the patches and things like that. I just wanted it to look a little less perfect. And yeah, I think I quite like it. It's also my first time using these little decals. So yeah. Also, I like this little water thingy that I'm creating here. I think it's pretty neat. So, as I mentioned, this is one of the shelters. The other one is going to be on the other side of this habitat. And it looks a little bit run down. At least I try to make it look that way. I hope I succeeded at that. And yeah, there are some planks that are a bit loose and things like that but don't worry <laughs> they have 
check if the shed is safe for the animals. So no worries there. The animals can go there without getting hurt. So yeah, <laughs> although it doesn't really look like it, but no worries. They are perfectly safe. So I thought we are about that we need to do some more detailing around the area uh, of the grasslands. We are doing a little bit in this episode, but I really would like to finish it off probably in the next video. As if you are interested in that, if you don't mind me doing it off screen and showing you afterwards what I did in the next video with maybe a new habitat build or something please let me know because then i can anticipate on that and yeah it can be a surprise on how it's going to look but yeah let me know what you guys like um can imagine that me placing uh different kinds of rocks and plants and stuff like that all around that could be a little bit boring i may be making some uh, staff buildings as well but i think they're going to be pretty much in the same style as with the buildings at the pronghorns so i'm not sure if that is very interesting to look at but yeah as i mentioned please let me know because then i know what you would like and if you would like to see that and if you would like that I will definitely share it with you guys but only if you would like that so let's talk about this little thing that I'm organizing so um, what I want to do for the first time ever on this channel is I'm going to do a very little giveaway action. Um, but there are conditions that needs to be <laughs> yeah that needs to be achieved before this giveaway will happen. Also, I don't exactly know when this giveaway will happen exactly. That all depends on certain criteria, as I said. And yeah, with your help, it could probably go faster. But yeah, we'll see how fast it will go. So, the giveaway is going to be... Um, I'm gonna do a little gift card from steam for about like 30 dollars euros and what needs to be done for this giveaway is i want to reach 500 subscribers so as soon as we hit the 500 subscribers i will be picking out a winner from that but in order for you to be able to make a chance in this giveaway and if you want to participate I would like for you to make a screenshot of your sub sub subscribe and post it to me the picture either through Twitter or Steam you can do it through through discord whatever you like uh, just let me know and that way I know that you want to have a chance in winning this gift card and yes <laughs> that way we can help each other because you can win something and for me hitting the 500 subscribers will be a massive win for me as well So, uh, and now we are going to the next part of uh, things I was going to mention in this video. 
and that is the new biome we are going to start with and that biome is going to be the tropics yes i think that could be very nice i don't think i'm i'm not sure really sure how to integrate it with um the grassland but i'm sure i'm gonna figure it out i don't know exactly where i'm gonna place it but we are going to enter the uh, tropical area of america so i also wanted to share with you the animals that we are going to use and those animals are we are going to move the capuchin monkeys to the tropical area. We're going to move the jaguar, the butter's top here, the capybara with the calapucos tortoise. So I'm thinking about adding one more animal, but I'm not sure yet. I need your opinion on that. If you would like to see one more animal in this area. Um, but if you think what we have here is enough please let me know as well because then yeah <laughs> we'll leave it as it is and otherwise i'm going to think about an, another animal to place in the tropical area we're also going to do a little exhibit area so that is also coming up and yes <laughs> a lot of nice things a lot of nice things um I also made a little area here for guests to sit down and watch the bisons and yeah, put a little zoo talk, animal talk in there as well. I'm not sure if it would be something a real life people will go to for the bison but I thought it's a nice way to fill up this area so I did. And I quite like it actually, how it looks, so yeah, quite happy, quite happy. So, um, yes, yeah, so we talked about what new animals there are going to be in the new biome. We talked a little bit about a little giveaway that's coming up. And yes, for Yamatai Zoo, I am working on the Lake of Links habitat and so i'm very excited for that as well and i mentioned in the last video that i'm going to make a pool for the next area for the amatai zoo so i'm going to work on that and post that very soon on twitter so if you want to vote in that head over there and check it out you can follow me on twitter that way we will get notified if the poll is up and you will also stay notified of any new content that i place or like a little bit of a backstage uh, vibe like what what i'm working on and those kinds of things and if you like this video and you want to see more check the description box for more playlists and more videos but for now, I'm going to wish you uh, all the best and I hope to see you all in one of my other videos. But until then, have a nice day and take care of yourselves and see you all in the next video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. And yeah, see you all in the next one. Love you guys. Bye bye.